Hey, good morning. Chuck here at the Apple Drains. Today we're um, doing a sump pump install, also some footer tiles. And this homeowner has actually taken a lot of initiative and done quite a bit of work down here himself. However, he decided that, you know, this is better off to have a bigger company come in uh, and, and finish the install. You know, I do make things look easy, but remember, there's a lot of labor involved in what we do. So basically, basically he's got an area for a sump pit and he's dug some footer tiles. This one in the center, I'm not sure what that's there for, but he's dug some footer tiles here along the wall. And you can see it goes all the way back. He went all the way around his crawl space. So really all we're gonna do here is lay our pipe. We may take it down just a little deeper. Lay our perforated pipe, cover with gravel, bring all that down here to the sump pit, dig that out, we'll core the wall, and this one will be done. So let's get started. Real secret to any gravel perforated pipe system is gravel. The more gravel, the better. Yes, you can get gravel by the bag at Lowe's or Home Depot. It, it does get costly. You know, coming to the gravel yard, you're going to spend $60 to $80 to get a nice load of gravel. So work's progressing in here. Basically, we're just taking these lines down a little deeper so we can get them into our sump pit. And then we'll be ready to lay the rest of this pipe and pour the gravel. To core your foundation wall, if you're going through the block, brick, cement, uh, stucco, you're going to need a good hammer drill. And hammer drills are available from any local tool rental uh, costs about 50 to $75 for a half a day. They'll give you a diamond core bit. You need a two inch bit and it only takes a few minutes, but you do need the tool to get through the wall. This customer actually had bought everything he needed to, you know, to do this job. And so we're using his parts. He's got a nice brand new Zolar M53. Good third of a horsepower, nice check valve. He also got also got that from Zoller. Same thing. It's got the arrow pointing up, giving you the directions, the no hub clamps. Snap it all together. Try to set your pump up outside because it's a lot easier to work outside than it is to work inside the crawl space. Once it's set up, take it inside. Go ahead and install it. So we're setting up the pump. We set the pump up outside, got the check valve installed. Basically, we're going to set this down in the pit, all the way down on the bottom. Then we're going to make a measurement from the check valve up here to the discharge where it cored through. So, made the measurement here. You can see it's going to come right up here to the 90. We're going to secure that and glue it in place. So here's a good example of, you know, you're drilling through it from the outside because we want the outside to have a perfect hole and you're just ever so slightly off. So you have to do a little bit of extra plumbing, a couple of 90s to bring it over and send it out through the wall. All works great. Remember there's a check valve down there. We've got the lid installed, gravel's covering up here. We're almost done. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.